Have you ever thought of playing your Xbox on your phone, on your tablet, right? Well, that is Project X Cloud, and I'm just gonna show you how it actually works. Let's jump in. So the very first time we saw Project X Cloud was at E3 2019. We've got a video on that. It was smooth, it was also choppy at times, but we finally got it in-house. Now, you can go ahead and sign up for our Project X Cloud preview. I'll have a link for you guys down below, uh, but I've been using it for about a month or so, and I have to say I've enjoyed the experience and I've enjoyed what Microsoft has done with this. So, the very first thing you need is an Android device. There's no app available for iOS, but once you get it and you download the application, it is a very straightforward process. You sign into your Xbox account and boom, you're good to go. Now here's the funny thing, once you actually go into play a game, it signs you out of your console if your console's on and it basically signs you in here. So moving your Xbox from your console to here, right? Now, all you can do on Project X Cloud now is stream games and they are a bunch of games, 50 games in total. Yes, Microsoft said, take that Project Stadia or Stadia from Google, uh, you know, that we've got more games than you do. But that's besides that point, there are a ton of games there. You know, there's Gears 5, uh, there's Halo 5, there's original Gears, uh, there's Forza Horizon 4, there's Devil May Cry 5. Just Course 4, uh, you know, Madden 2020. There's also WWE 2K 2020. So a lot of games, and it looks like you're gonna be adding more and more games to that list. So I like that. When I first started, it was only four games. But going into the application and looking at what the application has, once you actually sign in, you've got your list of games. It says all games. You can kind of jump through and scroll through, or you can search for games with a search icon. At the very bottom, you've got your home, your feedback, and then you've got your account information. Yeah, it says, you know, Thunder Emperor, so follow me on Xbox. At the top left-hand corner, there's a little three-bar icon. You tap on that, and that can switch you into console streaming. Currently, that option is not available, but it allows you to stream directly from your console. So if there are games that are not available on Project X Cloud, you can stream that directly. So if it's a third-party game that, say, Microsoft hasn't actually put on X Cloud, and you own it, then you can stream it directly from your console. Now, also Microsoft stated that Project X Cloud next year, 2020, will have streaming for Xbox Game Pass, which is one of the best services ever. If you don't have Game Pass, go ahead and get it, especially Game Pass Ultimate for PC. You can stream those, you can also download those games on PC as well. But that will be coming in the future. So what's the gameplay process here? You pick a game you want to play, uh, and let's say we go to Gears, uh, sorry, Devil May Cry 5. We click on that and you have the option to play. Now, when you press play, the first time, if you haven't connected a controller, it would say, set up, go to Bluetooth settings and connect a controller. Now, currently an Xbox controller is what I'm using. I'm using the brand new Elite controller. It is absolutely dynamite. Lovely controller. Check out my video on it. I truly like it but it makes the gameplay process pretty easy because it's a standard Xbox controller. I think Microsoft went away from on-screen controls. And I think that's a smart thing to give you the same experience. They did say that they will also support multiple controllers in the future, uh, all the Razer controllers, including as well, the Sony PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. Yes, so you can actually have a DualShock controller on playing Xbox games, which is pretty cool. Now, the Razer Jungle Cat, which I have, I haven't done my video on yet, is truly the perfect Xbox controller. I like the look of this bad boy, and I can't wait for that update to play my games because it makes the whole process really portable and easy to take around with you. But once you have your controller, you jump into the game, it's just a setup process, and boom, you're good to go. You start playing, and I've gotta say, the gameplay experience has been really good. When I initially started a month ago, there was some choppiness, I will agree, and I'll mention that, but they've been fixing this, and there's a lot of, they actually a lot of feedback questions on here. But the gameplay process uh, now is smooth. I was playing uh, Devil May Cry 5, I was playing uh, Gears. Gears still is the one that gives me a little bit of choppiness, I will agree, uh, but uh, Forza Horizon 4, that just ran pretty smooth. I was actually on my data plan, I didn't realize that I, until later on that, oh wow, I wasn't on Wi-Fi. Uh, and it runs 
fairly the same on data and Wi-Fi, you don't notice the drops. There's an icon that'll tell you that, hey, look, you're losing signal, your signal's getting worse, that kind of thing in there. And I think that because it's also 720p, that helps. Now, a lot of the other companies are claiming 4K on mobile streaming, and I don't think it's possible on LTE. Uh, and I'm sure maybe Microsoft will mention that, hey, look, when 5G is more accessible, we're going to have that 5G option. But it feels like playing in Xbox on your phone. And you can do this also on a tablet as well. So if you've got a tablet, that makes a lot of sense. I see this as making it look the portable Xbox experience. You look down in the future, Microsoft says, look, we're gonna have an app for iOS. Uh, I'm sure they will also have apps for TVs as well. So you buy a TV, all you need is a controller, and then you can stream your games. Now think about it. If you wanna play an Xbox game, your buying is literally what device you already have. That makes it easy. A controller, most likely you might have one. If not, then it's a $50 purchase. Then the biggest purchase of yours in the future would be Xbox Game Pass with streaming. And that's probably about $60 a year or so. And boom, you're done. You're paying a smaller price to jump in. Now the other services out there, you know, the Stadia that's coming out, and Stadia is has a founders pack 129, but you have to pay for every game. So right now, Project X Cloud is free, by the way. There's no payments available. You can sign up, the link will be down there for you guys below, but you get to enjoy a lot of these games. And the experience is truly nice. It's getting better. There are some kinks, like when you have notifications and you get into that notification, it kind of freezes the game, so you gotta have to back out and do things again. What I would like to see them is add a game mode, so that actually blocks all notifications off, or tie into game modes for any smartphone, like you know, Galaxy devices have it, uh, gaming phones have it, so once you click on game mode and you click on the application, you know, uh, Xbox game streaming, then, you know, you have that ability to just block out all notifications and you can enjoy your gameplay sessions uh, right there and it doesn't actually affect your gaming experience. That is what I would like to see, but so far, it's been good. I'm, live, I'm loving the improvements. I, I can't wait to try more controllers. Trust me, that Jungle Cat is calling me, saying this is my this is my mobile gaming experience. I was joking with Daniel that, hey, look, I most likely will finish Gears 5 while playing on my phone and instead of my TV, which to me is insane. I love massive TVs. I do a lot of TV you know, coverage, and I like playing games on TVs, but I'm enjoying this experience, and even though it's a beta experience, it's gonna turn out well. So go ahead, use the link down below to, to check it out. If you have any questions, any comments about this, let me know. Uh, I'll have more videos about this on my gaming channel. I'll do a review of that, uh, that Jungle Cat controller on my gaming channel as well. It's Board Gamer. Go check it out. Otherwise, check out more content here from Board at Work. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Subscribe and always enjoy entertainment.